Welcome to the ExtremeHardware.com YouTube channel. Today we are looking at the Shuttle DS81 Slim PC Barrier Bond, which is a very compact unit, and um, we have just published the entire, the complete review in our portal. So this is just a preview of the uh, chassis and some interesting features of the product. Also, um, we wanted to show you this unit, which is very compact, nice, and uh, um, it, uh, you can do a lot of different things with this unit. Um, at first, the dimensions. Um, it has a length of uh, 19 centimeters and a width of uh, 16.5 centimeters and uh, an height of 4.3 centimeters so it's very compact as you can see you can take these units with uh, just an end um, so but what does the barebone term mean the shuttle slim pc barebone ds81 it consists of a stylish metal case with a pre-installed made up mother mainboard cooling system and external power adapter which as you can see it's right here um, this, despite its small form factor it offers outstanding connectivity functionality and performance for a complete mini PC system a few components still need to be added the mini PC is customizable and, toy, and takes socket 1150 processors at max 65 watts of TDP uh, you can mount uh, uh, DDR3 SOD memory and uh, one uh, two and a half inch storage drive, for example, an uh, HDD or an SSD. Right here, uh, we'll check that later. Once the desired operation system is installed, DDS81 is ready to use. The system features pre routed cables that are tied down from factory to reduce clutter, increase airflow and ease components and installation. So, as we've just said, uh, this unit it has a lot of um, uh, potential because we can install a very powerful CPU um, inside in the main board but it has also a very low noise thanks to the heat pipe cooling system and um, it has also an extended temperature range and reliability because it's outstandingly robust thanks to its rugged chassis and um, it has been tested by shuttle also at 50 degrees celsius with an ambient temperature so this is a very impressive thing and it's stable but it's also uh, its power consumption uh, mainly depends about the processor but um, it's very uh, interesting about the power requirements the maximum output voltage of the power adapter it's specified with 90 watts but um, um, obviously it um, uh, it depends by the CPU and uh, in this case we've opted for 65 watt CPU as we will see later um, it sports a wide range of I.O. connectors but also an SD reader card reader so it's very nice it has also a dual gigabit lang network here but it sports also a du dual display with HDMI and display port with an optional VGA it supports and uh, yeah optional VGA it supports 4k ultra HD at 60 Hertz but it has also two serial ports and this is a very nice uh, feature because uh, uh, it can be used for applications such as industrial automation systems scientific analysis PR system and other industry industrial application um, the DS81 features uh, two ports that um, uh, which also supports both 5 or 12 volts auxiliary voltage. The left COM port also support um, uh, supports 
the RS 422 and the RS 485. But in the inside, in the inside, it has also slots for mini uh, expansion cards. But um, uh, you can also also install a um, um, uh, WLAN kit, which is the WLNS, which is the sl shuttle. Slim PC accessory, which is a wireless LAN kit consisting of a mini PC card, PCIe -E card, PCIe. Sorry, as you can see here and here, you can mount the system. But a very interesting feature is also the the fact that you can mount the unit on a monitor with the VESA system. Um, 75 uh, 100mm VESA mount. Um, it has also the possibility to install a Kensington lock and uh, another interesting thing which is this one you can use an external power button by separate remote line um, so, for example, uh, you can uh, utilize this unit for a direct access uh, in a, an external chassis for uh, um, some kind, different kind of applications. It has also the possibility to power on after power fail, and um, so as you can see, this unit uh, it's um, it's very versatile. So. Let's have a look in the inside. Now we will show you the inside of the shuttle DS81. You just need to remove two screws in the back. One and two. And slide the superior part of the unit as you can see that's just a spy anyway here's the complete system as you can see sorry all right as you can see, we have a very nice uh, heat sink upon the CPU with two fans, and um, this uh, heat sink it's based on heat pipes. So uh, we have we haven't got um, um, a shiny um, mirror base plate for the heat sink, but it's not necessary because the the pressure it's uh, it's uh, uh, equal to the four sides so you get a very nice uh, uh, thermal uh, positioning of the thermal paste um, this is the placement for the uh, HDD in this case we will remove it and it's a very easy operation just one screw okay now it's connected so you just need to remove the cables one and we leave the other right there <coughs> This is the placement of the SOD RAM, in this case 4 GB. Um, as you can see we've got two uh, slots for the SATA port, but um, the connection, the power connector for the HDD, it's just one. So uh, you can install just one unit. Um, this cabinet, it's a, a, this model it has a proprietary mainboard 
which is developed by Shuttle and um, so you won't find anything else we highly suggest you to read the review because you will find a lot of interesting uh, informations about this product let us know what you think we've made um, some thermal tests acoustic tests and we can say that uh, it's um, a very silent PC uh, with an optimal thermal regulation and um, so let us know what you think and uh, see ya next time please comment if you want we are also on Facebook and Twitter